You're talking stocks with Nora, the Stock Explorer. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nora. If you're a returning subscriber, I thank you guys so much. If you're brand new, welcome guys. I do a weekly update of my new account challenge, okay? Now, I started this new account with $400 in January of 2021. If you'd like to see the original video, you can go ahead into my video list and find the original one, and that'll break down my ideas for how I wanted to move forward with the account. But with that being said, I did not start from zero. I have a little bit of a problem with people that come on YouTube and say they have a 0 to 50k challenge or a 0 to 100k challenge knowing good well you did not start with zero dollars you cannot grow zero dollars into any dollars because it's not possible you can use the two free stocks which I put a link below for Weeble and you can use that money to get started however you can not start with nothing and I started with 400 because that is what I got from a stimulus check that I received and I invested uh, that whole amount into the new account okay but anyway I don't want to get off topic guys this week for the new account we are sitting at two thousand six hundred and eighty five dollars okay and I have a ninety six dollar and twelve cent uh, left over in dry powder okay I actually this week added two hundred dollars I'll tell you why I did that next week I'm not going to add a hundred because I added it in early so that I could get one stock of Disney now if you go ahead and look you can see that I added Disney I added it at 189.41 I kind of uh, jumped the gun a little bit this week and I added Disney a little bit early I didn't know that it was gonna drop down to it's sitting at 183.67 so guys you're gonna get a better price if you choose to buy Disney and I'm not here to tell you what stocks to buy I'm on here showing you guys what I'm doing with my own portfolio, okay? But I did get Disney, and long term, of course, that is going to be inconsequential because a few dollars here and there long term is not going to make a big difference when Disney uh, possibly doubles in the next five years, okay? So let's go ahead over and take a look around now on td ameritrade there is a lot of news stories that you can click on okay and this one is talking about this one here disney strikes a deal with sony to stream movies after netflix window expiry uh this is what is going on right now netflix is kind of tanking right now okay and i can see that disney Plus has grabbed a lot of Netflix customers, okay? Moving forward, now this is just my opinion, and because I'm enthusiastic about studying about the stock market and listening to stock market news, I have heard it mentioned that Disney may possibly one day buy Netflix, and I can kind of see that happening because it looks like Disney is rotating into the number one position as far as the online streaming is considered, okay? That's just something to think about, okay? Uh, right here, there's an article. It says, it seems Netflix has been dethroned. I don't want to click on it because that'll take me somewhere else. But if you want to read that, that's in TD. Uh, when you sign up for a free account, you can read all these news articles and of course you can go to their website and read them as well. Okay, but moving forward, if you look at all the products that Disney offers, they have Hulu, they have Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, okay, you're going to get all your... Uh, UFC fights and all that good stuff on there. They got Pixar. Disney owns Marvel, okay? They own the Star Wars franchise and National Geographic. Plus, they are offering it at this price point of $7.99 a month. That is hard to beat that, okay? You can see how they can move forward 
and get in that number one spot because who doesn't love Disney, guys? Another reason I picked Disney is because I live in Orlando, Florida. I do go to the parks. My best friend works at Disney. I, I love the brand. I love uh, visiting the Disney theme parks. They're about to open the one in California. The one in Florida has been open. And even though they say that the crowds are, uh, you know, limited, if you go, it looks absolutely packed. It's mobbed, okay? People love going to Disney, okay? So let's look over on Trade and View. Walt Disney Company is sitting at 183.63. Let's scroll down and look at the chart. Okay, you can see uh, it kind of peaked at 189, which is where I uh, hopped in at. And it looks like it's starting to move back up again. Uh, the ideas on the left-hand side, of course, have it long-term bullish. They see a breakout coming, which is what we talked about in the Capitalist Academy. I have the link for that as well up in the banner. Excellent Stock Market Academy if you want to learn the correct way. And you don't want to just go on YouTube and copy people. If you want to learn how to trade and invest, you really, really, truly want to be a student of the stock market, check out my link in the banner and it's always in the description and join Capitalist Academy. I'm in it and I'm always learning. I'm a lifetime student because I love learning. Anyway, long term, it is showing bullish, bullish, bullish on the left hand side here. If you get trading view, I have a link for that too. You can see all these ideas. Guys, it is eventually going to break out. Disney is a beast that cannot be stopped. I bought it last April and I knew this was going to be the case. It was like $99 a share. This was right after the, uh, you know, health crisis hit. Okay. It. <sighs> It is about doubled, and I knew in my heart I should load the boat, and I actually, I don't know, I got distracted with a lot of other stocks that I wanted to jump in on. If I had just got this, I would have had some really, really nice, sweet returns on Disney, and I don't think they're, they're going to stop growing. I really, truly don't. I don't think they're going to stop growing. The, the uh, cruise ships are going to start heading out. Okay, guys, they're expanding on the, uh, on the California, Disneyland. Okay, Disney is going to get that money. And they didn't really lose that much money. What they did was brilliant. They, they, they trimmed back their spending. They trimmed back some of their employees, which is sad because they did have a lot of international students that relied on Disney. However, I could see them rehiring them soon because we're getting this uh, pandemic sorted out. And they're going to need those uh, people to help because of the massive crowds. It is really, really a sight to see all the people pouring in uh, when at the entrance gates when you get to Disney. It's like, oh my, like, wow, okay. It is incredible the crowds that they can draw. All right, guys, so I hope you liked the video. If you uh, have any comments, please don't forget to smash the like button and then also comment in the comment section. That helps the channel out tremendously when you leave a comment. And also, I like to see who's watching. Shout out to my lady traders. And of course, if you want to talk about stocks every Friday night at 10 p.m., Lucas Murphy has a live stream. We have a nice small little community there that hops on and we talk about the stock market for two full hours. If you'd like to check that out, I always participate. I'll be in there. If you guys want to ask me questions or shoot the breeze on there, I will be there and I hope to see you guys have an amazing week. Peace. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.